My name is Kaya Virgie J. My name is Amina Mukhtar. My name is Soya Alejandra Tony. My full name is James Allen Vasquez Jr. I'm Kaya Alexander. My full name is Rhiannon Grace Lansing. My name is Muhammad Abdahakim Abdurrahman. It's a long name, but it's my name. And I am from Montezuma Creek, Utah. I'm from Somalia. I'm 19 years old. And I was born in Shiprock, and I now live here. And I live southwest of Montezuma Creek. Sometimes I, I feel like I was born in the wrong generation. I moved here when I was 16. I used to live in Flagstaff, Arizona until my parents split when I was 11. I didn't know nobody. I only know my family that I didn't know nobody. I didn't speak English. We don't have um, anywhere to go to to hang as a teenager. I grew up in a family very traditional. And all my friends were back in Flagstaff, so it was hard to make new friends here. When you go to school, you don't speak English. It's hard to understand like what the teacher's saying, you know. Considering, you know, that we are indigenous people, you know, it's, you know, we can't avoid, you know, who we are. Moving from Somalia to Ethiopia was difficult because we didn't have peace in Somalia. I'm a lot. <laughs> I'm, I'm very shy at times, but I could be over-exaggerated. It's pretty much my job also to learn the traditional way of our language. I know that I am outspoken, but it's also caused me to be in a lot of trouble. But then also being outspoken, it caused me to be bullied. I like to show the world that there's more to just natives rather uh, than uh, just being the face of a Disney movie. Our family, they never go to school. I speak two languages, English and Navajo. I'm currently learning how to speak Cree. And finally, when we found out like the, our journey, journey was ready for going to the United States, my whole family was excited. We're not just a Redskin or Pocahontas. We're more than that. After my biological parents split, my mom was single for a while, so I was kind of considered the man of the house. Making new friends were the, the most hardest thing. To have that amount of responsibility, it is pretty much pressuring and it is pretty difficult. My dream, um, I guess, to wake up in a world where we're all equal. I would define success as whether you win or lose, it's how you feel in the end. So I feel okay now, Like I feel like I'm part of the community. <laughs> We have to keep our language alive, keep our culture alive. And so I really want to promote our history and I want the world to know that. I am a young Navajo woman who's trying to make her mark on the world. It's hard being a Navajo person, knowing that, that a lot of things will happen to you, but then we got to fight for, for who we are. Go to school, learn. Because tomorrow you might do something really good, special for your life.